the weather is starting to warm up. We are looking forward to the summer months, but of course, all the things we love about summer, there's there's a couple downsides. And Russell Eyrick is with the city of Regina. He's the manager of a lot of things, including pest control. And we're talking about canker worms today, Russell. What kind of a worm season are we in for this year? Well, we're expecting the canker worms to actually increase. Uh, we've seen our fall counts actually increase a little bit. Uh, we're doing our spring monitoring counts, but overall we're seeing a bit of an increase over compared to last year. Why are some years worse and some years better than it's, others? It's typically it's cyclical in nature uh, every seven to ten years or so. So if you think back to 2010, uh, we had to spray something like 35,000, 36,000 trees uh, for canker worms. Uh, two years ago, we didn't spray anything just because the canker worm counts were so low. Last year, we started to have to come back and spray about 2,000 trees for canker worms. We're expecting probably in around the 10,000 mark this year. We're seeing the big signs around town that say now is the time to ban your trees. What does that mean for people? Well, really what we're trying to do is ask residents to ban their city trees in front of their yards or their personal trees in their backyards, uh, elms, uh, maple trees and uh, fruit trees. How does that protect the tree? Well, it has to do with the life cycle of, of the canker worm itself. Right now, the, the female canker worm is a wingless moth, so she must climb the tree itself to actually lay the eggs in the crown. And by putting the band on, we're interfering with their life cycle, and so we're able to do it through a pesticide-free way of doing things. Now, we know the canker worms, we can also have to deal with tent caterpillars. So what's the difference and is there anything we can do to protect against the tent caterpillars? So the tent caterpillars uh, last year, we saw some really significant numbers. We're expecting the same. Unlike the, the female canker worm that is wingless, the female tent caterpillar is winged. So there is no way for us to naturally interrupt their, their life cycle. Spraying is our only option right now. All right. Thanks for your time today, Russell. Okay, thank you.